Hey, Brockton residents, it's Mayor Sullivan. It's Friday, the 23rd of July. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we finally have a nice day out there today. Uh, the farmer's market's going on outside of City Hall. It's every Friday, again, um, and I would encourage you to go out there. Wonderful produce, uh, just great people out there as well. Um, in terms of COVID, uh, we are actually uh, an uptick slightly on our, uh, our daily uh, incurrences rate. So, um, you know, we're, we're working diligently right now. We're also working with Dr. Rick Herman, our medical consultant, Eno Montessor, our director of Board of Health, to track this Delta variant that everybody's hearing about. So, um, Dr. Herman appeared before the school committee this week, did a very thorough uh, and a deep dive on metrics and data. So, uh, we're very appreciative of all his efforts and the Board of Health's efforts as well. We're still doing our vaccine clinics again. Every uh, Saturday from nine to one at the Shaw Center is uh, Board of Health with uh, Board of Health nurses and school nurses. They've been doing that for a long time. They're gonna continue that effort. Every Thursday, Board of Health and nurses at the uh, Cape Verde Association. And then every Thursday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Shaw Center again is the um, Neighborhood Health Center with the National Guard Assistance. And again, these are the vaccine clinics. We're still working with our partners at DPH. We're doing the pop-up clinics around the city of Brockton at different venues from supermarkets to parks. Um, in terms of uh, a, an upcoming one, next uh, Wednesday the 28th, the Board of Health will be holding the second dose vaccine clinic at the Bat Bus Station, 3.30 to 6 p.m. Um, we are also planning right now a, a massive clinic at Brockton High School in the Red Cafeteria, August 2nd, which is a Monday, August 3rd, Tuesday from 11.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. It's to get the Pfizer vaccine. Our goal right now is to administer it to as many students that are eligible based on the age so that they will have their first shot on early August. August 23rd, 24th, they'll have their second shot and they'll be good to go going into the school year. Now, as a dad of three kids, we don't want to talk about school yet in my house, but um, you know, we're planning right now for protective measures to help the boys and girls students. Uh, we are working diligently on that with Superintendent Mike Thomas, Linda Cahill, who heads up the school nurses. So kudos to every, everybody involved in that. Uh, you may have read in the local newspaper online, um, the city of Brockton's police department was a victim of a uh, cyber attack. Uh, as soon as we were notified, we, um, we took all precautions. Uh, at no time was Brockton police efforts in terms of policing, 911 or community policing, any of that was compromised. But forensic deep dives been done, notified state and federal uh, law enforcement as well. So I just wanted to let you know uh, and reassure you that um, nothing was compromised relative to protecting the safety of each and every one of you in the city of Brockton. Um, the Mayor's Summer Concert Series is kicking off next Wednesday, again, which is the 28th of July. Outside at the Amphitheater, City Hall Plaza, five o'clock. We're doing it for six weeks, so it starts uh, and it's going to continue for six weeks. This week coming up will be Billy Kultu in the After Hours, which is the first uh, performance of the year. Uh, this is the, uh, under previous mayors, this was the concerts that were done at Heights Crossing up off of Christie's Way. We're doing it now um, here at City Hall at the Amphitheater outside. So if you wanna come and listen to some wonderful music, some great entertainment, please, it starts uh, next Wednesday, the 28th of July. So. Again, the last thing I just want to reiterate, we are trying to uh, really foster the ability of community. We're doing donations right now. There's a donation opportunity drive. I mentioned it last week. Brockton Public Library and the mayor's office is working in collaboration. Um, we are uh, looking for um, donations of gently used or professional clothing that folks could use for shopping, formal wear, dress for success, work endeavors as well. So. If you have anything that you wanted to donate, do it right outside here in my mayor's office, 45 School Street here at City Hall. Um, we have a box when you walk in the mayor's office and we would welcome any donations that you would consider. And also at the main library, downtown Brockton, which is 304 Main Street, same thing. There's a drop off uh, location there as well. So it truly is an honor and privilege to serve as the mayor of the city of Brockton. We are the city of champions. We're better together. Um, enjoy this weekend, stay safe. I'll be back again next week with another update. Thank you, bye-bye.